Well, what's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out another of my videos. Bright sunny morning out here and I didn't bring my hat. I forgot the lucky hat. What does that mean for today? I don't know. Not too happy about it though. But anyway, fishing for halibut on San Francisco Bay. Got my friend Chris with me. What's up guys? Excited to get him back on the boat. It's been a while since we fished together and he hasn't got a halibut this year. So goal to get him on one right away. And today we are going to try one rod with a flasher if you guys saw my one of my last halibut videos with Gabe, he used this one and he caught four halibut with it. I tried different flashers, no flasher, all these different things. I didn't catch any, but I just had bad luck. That's why I didn't catch one. But today I will not have anything on the other rod. So the other rod will just be the herring by itself, no flasher. So herring on both rods, flasher on one, no flasher on the other. Go ahead and drop them down here and Hopefully we get on some good halibut today and hopefully I don't get my face too burnt up and still catch him without my lucky hat. All right, let's get fishing. Oh, they just picked up another one. They it's right in my up. spot too, huh? Yeah. All right, well there's the green flasher one. No flasher. All right, we got both rods down now. Go ahead and give Chris a uh, first fish here. And then I wanna show you guys today's video sponsor. So check out this trash can for a boat. You put your trash in and it won't be able to come out like my hand is stuck right now. Uh, so that's convenient you know, when you're driving around in the wind and then every time I would used to bring out a plastic bag and then throw away that plastic bag but now with this you can just it's velcro so you should simply just take it off you know when you get back dump out the contents and uh, you know reuse this so oh oh we got one yep fish on One for the green flasher. One for the green flasher. Just got my new gaff from Promar, man. I don't even have it out yet. Have a look. Little guy. There we go. Got the flasher one looking real good. Talked about before, whenever I turn the boat around, it's usually when I like to check the bait. So we saw everyone catching them in a certain spot. We got our little one there. We're gonna go ahead and turn around and just go right back through it. Well, that was real exciting getting a the fish there in the first few minutes. Back to the trash bag here. If you're interested, I'll have links in the description. It's from a Fordura. Uh, they also provide me with the American flag. That was pretty awesome. So what they have is a bunch of different boat accessories. This trash bag is real cool. Like I said earlier, it's Velcro, so it takes it off. So you, you know, use less plastic. I usually bring a plastic bag out with me. We'll have to do that. It has straps you can mount to different places. Also along the bottom here. And you have one, you know, which you can separate your trash from recycling and then the, the garbage there. Better. Three for the flash. This is a keeper. 
All right, Chris is saying keeper. This spot's pretty funny, isn't it? No. Nope. Man, Shaker City though, huh? In the effort to get Chris a keeper. Here's your fourth try. <laughs> it had some early head shakes, but. We just, we just need to stay right on the I side. know. Isn't it funny? Because like, nobody else knows like, this is the spot. <sighs> Closer. This guy looks like he's gonna be short, but it's our fourth one on the boat. Yeah, only 20 inches. Make sure my eye's on today, and it is. Oh, on, on. That's a good one. Gas right there. <laughs> Told you I had to change yeah. something up. Like <laughs> you take the next one. So five minutes ago, Chris goes, "You can have next fish. We gotta change this up." Sure enough, this thing is real big. Jeez, like I don't know, man. This is big. Fish. Stingray. No Sh shark. It's not a stingray. Yeah, because if it was stingray, it'd be taken off, right? I think it's a huge halibut. PB status. My guess is like 33. Oh boy, how big's this guy? I'm thinking 33. Chris said 35. My personal best is 34. Oh, well, basically 33. Oh, here we go. Another good one, Chris, maybe. Straight bait. What did it end up measuring? 33, 30, 32 and three quarters. Might be a keeper. Uh, he got gill hooks, you know, the blood. Damn it. Looks like it could be. It does look like it could be. It's, it, it looks longer than it does. Uh... Yeah. Oh, God, this guy's bleeding bad. Hopefully, it's a keeper. Yep, 23. All right, let's do a little check-in. So we got those two keepers on the boat, several shakers, and nothing now for the last half hour to 45 minutes. The tide changed. We had the incoming, and now we got the outgoing. Uh, my switch spots here pretty soon, but we're keep marking a lot of bait, so that's keeping us here. Uh, no lucky hat today, but got the biggest halibut of the year for me so far. Almost 33 inches. 
Been short of my uh, personal vest, a nice big one. Funny how that happens, huh? Well, I'm still gonna wear my hat. Could you see that stingray he snagged or whatever? You didn't see that? In your video? Yeah. I didn't watch the whole thing. Your last one, right? Yeah. Yeah, I watched. So the, the, the stingray, like, you know, has its wings and then it goes up like its shoulders and like a head kind of. On its shoulder here, it had a round hook thing, like this, like, like, like when it was young, a piece of its like skin got like. Third high, 32 feet of water. This one was on straight. Feels like a keeper, Chris. Hooked by the front hook there. Go ahead and release them. Oh no! <laughs> As I slid it, the trouble went in them. Jeez. Oh. All right, well, time to move, move spots. We're gonna go up with the fleet. Been fishing this spot for, gosh, a couple hours now, at least two, and haven't gotten a buy in that whole time. We're still marking bait, but these fish got locked on this area now, or they left or something. So we'll see you in the next spot. All right, new spot now. Got a nice good flash on it. Right, send it down. They have a net out. Saw some nets down on the drive over. Our speed looks pretty good. It just seems like the paint keeps the blood. It's just it's just golden grass hills on the bottom. So it looks like what we got folks and stuff. Yeah, that's a better one. Great. Waited a while for this fish. Feels like it has some good weight on it. Like a 24? Yeah. What's that glove back? Yeah. Oh, good thing we didn't gaff him, but he's a keeper. Boy, that's close. It's a no doubt about it. Though. Yeah. It's close. 22 and a half. I feel comfortable keeping that guy for sure. Well, we still got the lines in, looking to pick up another one, but we're gonna get ready to head in here pretty soon. Didn't have my lucky hat on, but got my biggest one of the year. Look at the size of that one compared to the others. Almost 33 inches. And thank you to today's video sponsor, Alfordura, their uh, boat accessories, like the trash can there, the flag. So I'll have a link in the description if you guys are interested for stuff for your boat. But um, yeah, really excited to get that big one. Fun fish with you today, Chris. Nice doormat, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Good to get him on a fish finally. So if we don't get one here in the next few minutes, we'll be heading in. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. We'll catch you on the next one. All right, later, guys.